This is Twit. Microsoft has a new uh, AI model. We were getting into yeah. it. Yeah, I really want to try Vasa. it. I think this is kind of creepy, but I don't know. What, what do you think? So it could take any image and make its mouth move in synchronization. I'm not surprised. I mean, I, it, is it creepy? I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not surprised at this point. I think it only gets easier to do things like this. There's still a little bit, like I was looking at some of the video, there's still a little bit of that, that like uncanny valley in the eye. Almost mm -hmm. what it is on a lot of them is their eyes are really open. <laughs> and so, they're staring in the screen. So, uh, I don't know. But, this, but it's, it's really impressive. Here's an example. Here, I'll play it for you. You know, sometimes nothing happens, and sometimes everything happens all at once. So that's just normal, right? Yeah. But that's an AI-generated... Yeah, there's a little bit of weird zoomy, but... Yeah. The, so that's a real picture of a person. No, actually, it's not. The pictures of the people were generated oh, really? from, uh, like, Dolly, Dolly, yeah. Dolly 3. Well, the fact that they got, like, the raised eyebrows is, is even uh, creepy. I was just going to say that I, um, I there's a company called My Heritage that um, a couple years ago oh, that did something was weird, that was very wasn't similar. It? Yeah, so basically the idea behind that was... Take grandpa's picture. Exactly. Take your dead relative, upload the photo, and then they will animate the photo, and then you'll hear them talking to you, but it's like a creepy AI-generated voice. So this would actually be, like, you uploading your the voice that you want and it can connect to whatever image you want but this is like the next level of that yeah. um, you want to see Mona Lisa singing of course I do um, <laughs> this is <laughs> this is Mona Lisa as a TikToker this looks like a TikTok video totally see I tell the truth from what I see and sell it to parents don't this is going to be in the MoMA for sure <laughs> It doesn't look that much like Mona Lisa. No, not, when, no. We're but just on the too, other hand, it is rapping. <laughs> we're, we're too, yeah, yeah, used to seeing Mona Lisa. Wait, wait, let's see, let's see pose. another one. I haven't played all of these before. So explain: is there a human at any point in this interaction? Is it all AI generated, like the singing and the voice and and the yes, I believe this well, is all AI generated. The buttons, I, yeah. and my understanding. Well, I mean, I don't know how they made these these uh, animated surprise, ones, like where the voice comes from. But my understanding with the pictures was that they uploaded some sort of like a, a brief uh, voice yes. model and said base base your actual generation around this voice. You didn't need that much, you know, in a single image, and they're mm -hmm. able to do all of this. It's really, Wait, really impressive. What is the power of disentanglement? That sounds cool. Uh, <laughs> right? that We're just on cool. that. Is that quantum? Where is it? Oh, here it is. There. Our latent representation disentangles appearance, 3D head pose, and financial dynamics, which enables separate attribute control and editing of the generated content. Okay. You asked, Michael. <laughs> Why did I ask? Let me give you an example. <laughs> okay, so there she is. Now we're going to take that and we're going to oh, disentangle gonna... it. I don't think I like it. And prevent new the eyes are so creepy. It's yeah, spooky. The, the eyes, there's something about it. You can always, can't, at this point, can you always tell, you look at it and you know AI. Why did they the middle one, the honestly, if I saw that fly by on TikTok or yeah, something, I, think I, you I might don't not. think that was real. Yeah. Yeah. I, Here's uh, That's why I've just defaulted to thinking, genuinely, I, I default so to everything's fake until I can mm. prove otherwise. It's a good way to live, honestly. You should follow up with that. <laughs> this sad, but true. With this computer thing. Yeah. We are not here right now. This is my worst nightmare. Well, I don't know what this is. Yeah, this is, but this is cool right here. <laughs> the last one? Oh, my God. I don't even understand that. It looks like what they did was they took a flat photo and they were able to make the face move quite a bit. Yeah. Showing that it generates. What else they did is they pasted this paragraph at the end. Risks and responsible AI considerations. <laughs> at the very end. <laughs> we have no plans to release an online demo, API product, additional implementation details, or any related offerings until we're certain. The technology will be used responsibly and in accordance with proper regulations. So then they'll that never release it because yeah. that's the what only way. That, yeah. Right? Proper regulations. Who's proper regulations? <laughs> what the hell are they talking about? One thing this reminds me of, do you remember, um, God, I can't remember how many months ago it was at this point, and that's that's strange to me that I'm talking months and not years, but Hey Jen, did you, did you remember? Hey Jen. Hey Jen uh, had oh, that's that was that this video the that showed a guy at run through the Hey Jen system, and basically like he's he's talking to the camera for like three minutes in English, and the Hey Gen system in real time Oh yeah. Uh, translates saw this into all of these different languages, yeah. but then also shapes his mouth to match the, oh, the, yeah, the language. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
yeah, that's and great. it looked really good. Yeah. And like I see something like that, and you know, you can easily go to the oh my god, that's so creepy place. Mm -hmm. But if you think about like what kind of good that could actually mm -hmm. do, like I that's could imagine. True. You know, like a like a kiosk system mm -hmm. or something that's meant to you know be or accessible to everyone mm -hmm. for someone to be You'll able to go, go to there the DMV and, and you don't speak English mm -hmm. to be able to play back and it, it as it's speaking to you in the proper language that you proper need language to it looks right yeah. it's mm -hmm. not like subtitle you don't feel like you're, there's no yeah, you're disconnect not other there yeah, yeah. yeah. right I don't think that's or really what cool. about if like I were really ugly which I'm not but if I were. <laughs> Why are you Where laughing? Where is it? I know literally. I was going to say, like, what direction? Is <laughs> no, I could going? have a, uh, wouldn't it be great if my, uh, like, I were the man behind the curtain, and then mm. the, oh. you would, you never would see me. Like the Wizard of Oz. Like yeah. the Wizard of Oz, but what you'd see is an AI-generated version. Gorgeous. Maybe you I'd know? talk, but your the lip sync, and it would be some gorgeous, like, I'm just thinking for my old age, it might be a good idea. <laughs> the funny the funny thing, Leo, is that I feel like that's been a running joke here at Twit for a long time. It's yeah. like, well, someday It'll be the, the technology's the gonna clone, be so great Leo. that I won't do the there. show. But you know what? I think we're almost there. We're very like, close. Seriously. We're very close. Yeah. I hope that it happens soon. <laughs> <laughs> I really do. I think it'd be kind of. I would still want to be like the Wizard of Oz, the, person, the man behind yeah. the curtain. I'd like to have a thing that I can go mm -hmm. this way and this way. I was actually, <laughs> come to think of it, I was a virtual character. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you were. Yeah. Um, you you invented the the virtual avatar. Yeah, Dev you Null invented artificial on intelligence. The site, <laughs> and so I was wearing a suit, but it was done in real time. Admittedly, it was not the best quality because this was 1996 or something i have to ask did the suit actually make a difference or did they just put you in that no it was like so it was like, like a wetsuit that had dots on it yeah but were they just kind of they just were like let's have him think that, that oh no because when the suit <laughs> went just... wrong it went badly wrong oh, they wow. actually karsten has to had to at one point stick a pencil in my butt to keep the sensor from moving because I would keep bending in half suddenly. <laughs> the whole thing would just go like this. So I did the voice. Here's Soledad O'Brien talking to me. This is in 19... Would that be the high point or the... <laughs> and so this is in real time. Oh, so in a way, I was doing that yes, in 1995 or 96. give you the opportunity to slam me right at the beginning so then people won't get mad. But you can see it's very rough. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's so like lawnmower man era. But at the time, this was done in real time. That was very... That's, that's, cool. that's mocap. Yeah. Would take, it's kind of like mocap. So she was staring at a green dot on that wall. Interesting. But she was good at it. She actually acted like she was looking at this creepy, <laughs> creepy thing. That's fascinating. Her mother uh, once asked her, "Are you still working with that vile little puppet man?" <laughs> Me. That was me. And I just want to say, I have an Emmy so it, <laughs> from doing that. I just My want to say. little puppet man. So you're right. Actually, in a way, 30 years ago, yeah. I was doing that. Yeah. yeah. You're a trendsetter. Mm -hmm. Well, and it wasn't great, but honestly, nowadays, uh, I think we could probably generate something pretty darn realistic. Oh, yeah. Pretty I think, simply. I think that's where a lot of this is going. I wouldn't have to wear the rubber suit. Those unreal... Uh, yeah. Like Unreal Engine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think we're pretty close. And uh, Carson wouldn't have to put a pencil in my butt anymore. <laughs> thank God. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching this little snippet from our big show, the News Roundtable, This Week in Tech. I'm Leo Laporte. Each week we cover the week's tech news, in-depth analysis, but it's also fun and engaging. You'll find it at twit.tv along with all of our shows. And if you want more, just hit the subscribe button and uh, we'll be sure to bring you a lot more great content. Thanks for listening.